Well, welcome to uh, Ant Conception. No, that's not what we're doing today. So basically, the Java tutorial that we have is out of date. Uh, let's see how we can get Java games to continue playing in 2021. So this is the AntCon Arcade. This is the FAQ page. I'm going to link to it, uh, but it is antcon.com slash arcade slash FAQ.php. So scroll down here. It's actually going to look different because I'm going to update the Flash games with a video. These also work. But ironically enough, Java is still updated, unlike Flash, and the browser that we're going to use it is still updated. Anyway, enough blathering. This is the old video, so oddly we're not going to be using this. But the instructions I put up last night are going to work. So the first thing we need to do is download Java. Now, you don't want to go to the main page. You want to go to the link where it says manual.jsp because you're going to be given uh, an opportunity to download different versions. This tutorial only works for Windows. I don't know how to do it in anything else. If you know anything, contact us. Contact, well, there's no us. Contact me. Tell me how you can get it to work on Mac, Linux, whatever. If there's a video, uh, I'll post those. But Windows. Now, you might be tempted 64-bit because most operating systems are 64. No, no. Java only works in 32 bits. So you need the 32 bit version, which they don't mention anymore, but this is the 32 bit version, the one that does not say 64 bit. So you're going to need the offline version. This way, you don't have to worry about, um, you know, connecting to their servers or whatever. So Windows offline, uh, the one that doesn't mention what bit it is, that's the one you need to download. Okay, so let's download that now. And you can see right here it's downloading. That's pretty fast, actually. Uh, the installation process, especially on this laptop, might take a while, but we'll figure it out, all right? All right, so install, remove. Obviously, we're going to install this. Uh, if you have previous versions, and uh, remove those first, that sort of thing. But the current version uh, in January is uh, version 8.271. That still works, all right? And if this does, if this is no longer updated, we'll just we'll just uh, take this old version and I'll offer that as a download or or link to archive versions or something like that. All right, so we have successfully installed Java, close, and that's basically it. So step number two would be to search for Java. Now this is Windows 10, so just figure it out. It's just a program. It's under Java as well in the uh, programs uh, if you want to search for it that way, right? Okay. Configure Java. Let's go. Sometimes it takes a while, so that's fine. All right. So you can also find it somewhere here in Java, right? Again, Windows 8, I have Windows 8 on the, the main computer. This is basic stuff, but just find configure Java somewhere on the computer. That opens the Java control panel. Let's go to the security tab and you can see that the exception site list has nothing on. Yeah, enable Java content for browser, make sure it's on high, and you see that there shouldn't be anything in here for exception site list. If the, if, uh, the AntCon Arcade's URL is not in here, it's not going to work. So you need to press Edit Site List. It's a bit awkward. You have to press Add first. That allows you to click on it. Then you type in HTTP, not S, HTTP slash slash AntCon.com. You click Add again. You click Continue. And there we go. Now, another thing, HTTP slash www.antcon.com. That probably helps add. Okay. Uh, there's a couple recommendations, by the way. We're kind of doing this impromptu. Uh, there's some recommendations for other sites. You want to add those sites. Uh, if I mention uh, archive.org actually has some old Java games. They archive the class files. Doesn't matter what those are. But you need, if you're going to a link that you can see on the bottom left, web.archive.org, you need to add that to the exception list. Uh, Dan Ball has some fun little games as well. You need to add his URL to it, right? Including the HTTP. All right. So we're basically done here. Uh, we're going back to the Java control panel. Uh, and that's basically, I think that's it, right? Let me read my own instructions. Uh, and, and, and okay, that is basically what it is. All right. So we are now done. Now, you might say, oh, it works now. I, I just need to go to uh, go to the Java game and, oh, it's going to work. And, oh, no, it doesn't because this is Chrome and Chrome and everything else has not allowed Java. They've only allowed the Flash plugin, which is also going away just about now. 
the pale moon is still updated it's the last browser that is still updated and allows java so let's download that it's just palemoon.org click the link to the windows downloads uh, you can also go here that sort of thing palemoon.org again you want to download the 32-bit version okay because java plugins only work with a 32-bit thing okay that's that's just it yeah six you can download 64-bit java you can download 64-bit pale moon java is not going to work on that because the fork uh, this is a fork of firefox and it was 32-bit firefox that only supported java after a certain point so that's that's the story 32-bit we installed 32-bit java you need to install 32-bit pale moon there we go click direct download and that's quick too we're just gonna have to install that so that's pretty straightforward so it's gonna be extracting it's installing and here we go just it, it, there's nothing custom here just click through it and that should be done very very quickly now if you already have pale moon 32-bit installed because you follow the instructions correctly for flash uh, then you don't obviously need to do this, but again, if you're just doing a clean install, uh, you can just do this. So we are now at Pale Moon. There we go. That's the start. The, the default start page that Pale Moon has. It's pretty neat. Uh, maybe I should ask the guy to put AntCon here, since right Newgrounds doesn't. Right, I'm the only. Yeah, that's right. Put me on here. Absolutely. We'll have to contact this guy. Uh, but anyways, let's go back to the Antcon Arcade on Pale Moon and notice what's going to happen here. So we go to the uh, FAQ, which also has the instructions and the Java games under it. Okay, this is taking forever to load. That's fine. Uh, so you go here. I made these cool little uh, intra page links as well. You get to go down there and then scroll down here to the Java games. So let's play... Uh, Let's play. Now you see the link has already been visited. They saved the profile, uh, including the URLs you visited before. So let's just visit one I haven't. Um, let's say Bounce was a fun game, right? So this is a clean install, but it, all your personal stuff is still saved. So that's why the link looks different, like I already visited it. Anyways, so. Run, okay. Yeah, another thing is, is you also want to play Run over here, right? Uh, well, I, let's play the game. Oh, it's fun. You just make sure the, the balls don't touch the, uh, right. And you click the, the right mouse, you click the right mouse button to select vertical or horizontal. I'm having way too much fun here. Oh, uh, see, Java games are fun. They are fun. They were before Flash games. You know, they were a lot of fun. But anyways, we're not going to continue this. Uh, we're going to do, you know what? So that's basically it. That will get you working. That's probably the easiest way to do it. Download offline, uh, windows offline, not 64 bit Java, uh, configure Java to make sure that the exception site list has, uh, antcon.com and www.antcon.com with the HTTP, not HTTPS, not without it. But there's a couple extra little notes I have. So again, I've, I've underscored the point 32 bit of Pale Moon, 32 bit of Java, not the 64 bit of anything. It's all reverse compatible anyways. There were two other or two or three other browsers that used to work, still sort of work. SeaMonkey, uh, which is also, I think, a fork of Firefox uh, or something like that. They're la the last version to support uh, plugins that are not Flash was 2.49.5. That was released in September 4, 2019. It's no longer updated. But, you know, in case, you know, you want to do it or something, this is the one to do it. Again, 32-bit, and it's confusing because there's x64, that's the 64-bit, x86 is the 32-bit version. So you want to do all of these, okay? Windows x86 is 32-bit. You want to do these if you ever uh, want to use CMonkey. All right, we have Firefox ESR 59.9.0. Uh, uh, there's no release page uh, per se. Uh, it's just... It's just the uh, Win32 version, because they have a 64-bit version, but 52.9.0 uh, ESR 32-bit, that's the only one that's going to work. It's the last version of Firefox to support the Java plugin and the Shockwave plugin as well, and that'll be a whole other different video. 
Uh, Internet Explorer, are we going to attempt to do something with this now? Let's try that. Internet Explorer, even though this is Windows 8, you can still search for it. Um, I think, I, I know it's right there, but just in case. Yeah, Internet Explorer is still there. They recommend Edge, and now Edge is based off of Chrome or something. Who knows any of this stuff? Um, maybe it's here as well. Microsoft Edge. They might hide Internet Explorer because it's the old browser nobody likes. But they still include it because some things only work with that, right? But Microsoft's Internet Explorer works, okay? For now. For now. Right? Now, notice how at the very bottom, and oh, it's clunky. No wonder no one uses this garbage. Uh, but notice how it's, right, not loading, right? It's taking forever to load. Right, and they're telling you this is garbage, go use something else, go use Microsoft Edge. I kind of agree. Uh, but you want to press at the bottom right, enable the Java plugin. Right, is ready for use, enable it because that's the only way it's going to work. Uh, you want to go to ancon.com. I actually haven't tried it on this computer, so I don't. Yeah, if we're having tech support issues, we'll, we'll solve it on the fly. The problem with Internet Explorer is it's kind of clunky. It's also baked into Windows, so if they ever stop supporting it, if they ever stop, uh, you know, it's not going to work. But we got Pale Moon, we got Sea Monkey, we got the old Firefox ESR version, and Pale Moon is still updated, so that's good, and this is taking forever. Um, oh, oh, right. My own instructions. I need to follow them. Uh, so we go back to the FAQ page because I've, I've ran into this. Uh, one issue might be that Internet Explorer now wants to make everything into HTTPS because, oh, it's secure. It's like, yeah, but you're not sending any, any things here. Oh, that's Pale Moon. Um, so, right, that's probably not going to work. So, you need to go to Internet Options, the tool wheel, or, uh, yeah, the wheel tool, or that, it's tools, but it's a cog wheel thing. Go to Internet Options, uh, go to Security, and disable Protected Mode. This turns everything into HTTPS, so it either times out or it does this weird thing where nothing even loads and there's no error pages. Disable this, okay, apply it. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, all right. Okay. Um, so basically, we loaded back. Oh, we might have to restart it. Let's do restart. Close all the tabs. All right. Right, and protected mode is turned off. Don't show this message. We, that's just what we did right now. Of course, it's still loading. Yeah, uh, yeah, another browser would be better to use, but just in case you don't want to install anything except Java, I guess you have to install that, but let's see how this works. So look at that. Now it works very quickly because it was attempting to turn the HTTP into HTTPS, and that doesn't work for this site. HTTPS, if you're typing in credit cards, that's mandatory now. But again, it's this security fetish where everybody has to do HTTPS. And it's like, but you're not sending anything here. There's no credit cards. There's no signups. That was the that was the beauty of the Ancon RK. There were no signups. You don't have to be bothered with all this. You don't need HTTPS for any of this. Um, so anyways, oh boy. Okay, it still is loading slowly. So it should work now, but let's see. So let's play Pass the Pigs now. That's a fun, fun game. And okay, so the same thing as with Pale Moon, you got to run it. All right, and look at that. It works. It works. Uh, let's roll. Oink, oink, oink. Okay, we're not going to play this whole game. But the point is, there's another thing that might not work. Um, I, I've seen it mentioned just to, to see the last thing. So it works here. I think you go to, uh, I could look it up, but let me just, just scroll around. Go to custom level under internet, uh, yeah, tools, internet options, security tab. Go to custom level and go find scripting somewhere here. It's near the bottom. Scripting is the first thing. Scripting right here. And you want to go to enable, uh, enable, enable scripting of Java applets right here. That's enabled maybe by default. Who knows? Um, but that's what you want to do if if these things don't work so far. So that's basically it. Um, that is it. I don't have anything else to say. Again, this is for Windows only. If you have any, I know uh, Safari 12 doesn't allow Java. That's from years ago. 
Uh, so in 27, so probably it's Windows only that's going to make it, that you can have this work on. Again, if you have any videos that actually show step by step what we're doing here uh, for other operating systems, uh, that's fine. Uh, if you want to ask me some questions, you can always email me. It's at the bottom. Look at that. Ask questions directly. You can email me the subreddit I just set up as well. Let's look. Let's take a look at that. Um, yeah, I finally got the uh, R and Con subreddit back, right? And uh, looks like you're using new Reddit on an old browser. Yeah, it looks a little different, a proper browser. But, you know, there's not too many people here. But if you have any questions, uh, again, post screenshots and as much detail as, as you want, uh, you know, whatever. So that's basically it. Um, I'm going to do, hopefully, some more uh, videos for Flash. Uh, we're going to do the Shockwave stuff as well because that's uh, a little bit out of date. There's only a couple games for Shockwave. Oh, what I really love. I don't think it's on this computer. But remember Nabisco candy stand games? They're all there. That That is, is worth installing Shockwave for. So, But that's another video. Uh, I hope you had fun. Go see the links, uh, antcon.com, everything below. I'll do timestamps because I did ramble on a bit, uh, something a little bit more organized in the timestamps. But that's it. And uh, you can play Java games, Flash games, and Shockwave games. Amazing. In 2021.